What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is John. I'm a full-time reseller and it is Vlogmas Day 7. That's right. Seven consecutive days of vlogs. I am extremely proud of myself. Uh, it is 12.55 p.m. so I haven't picked the camera up today at all. I've been super busy. I had to go do some last minute Christmas shopping. Uh, we have a little baby gate that we keep at the foot of our stairs that my son broke on accident the other day. Uh, so I had to go get another one of those because this little guy, Moose, Moose, what's up buddy? What's up buddy? He's a free range French Bulldog. He get, he's got free range in the house, but we don't let him go upstairs while we're not here. Who's the best boy? Oh, he just wants a belly rub. He just wants a belly rub. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. What's up? What's up? He's actually going to be two years old on the 28th. So wow, you're, you're not a puppy anymore, man. But, uh, but yeah, he, he's a very good dog. Um, I don't know why I'm rambling about this, but, uh, had to do some Christmas shopping, got most of it done. I've got a little more to do. Um, and I still got to do my daily, my daily work. It never stops. I've got to photograph my 25s for today. I also have to drop those 25. Um, got some more laundry I'm doing from, from some, from that last bins haul. So today's video is gonna be a haul video. I'm gonna show you some of the better stuff that I got at the bins. Um, some brands that you know you might not have ever heard of or you do, you might have heard of, um, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys all that stuff and we'll talk and chat and have a good old time. I'm gonna make a pot of coffee right now and get some caffeine in me because I like I have to have it and I'm feeling a little sluggish. Gotta wrap a couple presents and then um, straighten up the house because as you can see here, our elves played a game last night called The Floor is Lava, right? The red elf, that's our, our OG elf, my son's elf, Luke. And the pink elf is our my daughter's elf, Leia, like Luke and Leia from Star Wars. Uh, the yellow elf is Baby Coop. He showed up last year, and he is an elf in training. And this little red elf showed up this morning. She is also an elf in training, and her name is Twinkles, right? So Twinkles came. This is the little note. My son, actually, he's 11, so he uh, doesn't believe in Santa anymore. Uh, but... He, he likes to help out and he's been he's been such a big help this year This is the first year that he's he's helped us do stuff with the elves and for my daughter just to make Christmas really special for her um, And this was his idea. He did the floor is lava and as you can see there is red lava <laughs> all Over the floor because the floor is lava and I mean it's literally like all the way down my hallway too But yeah guys vlogmas day seven Let's let's get it started and uh, show you guys some some cool right, brands. Guys, literally, we're just gonna go through real quick. I'm not even gonna like pull stuff down. Um, these Wolverine shorts, right here, Wolverine work brand shorts. I never would ever pick up Crown and Ivy, but these are men's Crown and Ivy new with tags uh, from the bin. So it brought my average buy cost down significantly. Uh, and you know, that's 10 to 15 bucks all day with the tag air force shorts. These did better a year ago, uh, than they do now, but you know, 10 bucks easy. This one is cool. This right here, it's a vintage like toddler. Well, like maybe a little older than toddler. There's the tag vintage hush puppies, kids, corduroy overalls does have a little bit of a spot on the butt, but you know, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, Lane Bryant leggings. They do pretty well for me. Just some Nike uh, women's athletic joggers. L.L. Bean women's base layer. Like I said, you guys already know, I hit a lick on this. I have the blouses and the pants, um, but I'm not selling a set, so I'm just going to sell separate. A pair of Dickies. Dickies always does well for me, usually. 10 to 15. These are probably closer to 15 just because there's not a lot of wear on them. Swiss Tech, Walmart does sell Swiss Tech, but this specific model of Swiss Tech is, does really well. Um, should be able to get 15 to 20. This is a Georgia Bulldogs Peter Millar quarter zip. It does have a little flaw right there, but I still think 15 bucks for this bad boy is a steal and somebody will buy it for sure, 100%. Just a true spec, like firefighter um, work shirt, any any type of work shirt. A lot of guys that wear uh, that work at like mechanic shops and stuff wear this too. 
like a little tactical. This is a 4XL Under Armour Polo. Usually I sell these for like 15 bucks, but since it's a 4X, I think I'll list it for 20. You guys know I love fast food. <laughs> fast food stuff sells for me this is a uh, chick-fil-a i got three of these shirts this one is the nicer one i have two that are pretty good and then one that has a spot where my thumb is like right here that i tried to get out but i couldn't but it should still sell a nike golf polo with the verizon logo embroidered on it now i would not recommend just willingly picking this up you have to look up your comps guys always look up comps this shirt right here sells for fifteen dollars there's two listed with two sold so it's got a hundred percent sell through rate for 15 bucks you know that's a that's a pickup for me especially at a dollar 44. getting into some graphic tees you guys know i love my tees back to the future it's a pretty cool graphic on it and it is a 4xl the bigger sizes sell really well guys believe it or not 4x and up sell extremely well this is a boston uh, I got to do a little more research, but this is, I'm pretty sure it's a Red Sox, like cityscape tee or something. Um, but this dude played for the Red Sox. I, I'm not like a huge baseball fan. I know some of you are probably going to be like, but you're a sports fan, but not a baseball fan. Yeah, I'm really not. Budweiser tank top. This is, I've sold this same tank top for like nine bucks a couple different times. I always listed at 10. This is a basic little eight to $10 Adidas, um, climate light tee some american eagle midi shorts these are columbia cargo shorts another pair of cargo shorts these are like the pfg fishing shorts now this right here i showed in the video last night these pants are called sundance this is the first time i've found sundance but i should be able to list these at 40 bucks and they should sell pretty fast um <laughs> Like I said, I learned this brand from the Hustle at Home Mom. Big shout out to you, thank you. I would suggest if you're new, a newer reseller, start watching. If, if you're looking to get into the clothing niche, start watching other people's, other clothing resellers channels and start paying attention to the brands. You don't need to watch for the content, you need to watch for the brands, right? And then when you find a brand that they're talking about, always look it up, look it up. Just because I tell you I sell it and it sells well for me, look it up. I don't have to look as much up anymore. Like a lot of stuff that I buy, I know my pricing, I know what I'm gonna price it at, I know what it's gonna sell for, and I know I just know because I've, I've sold it. I've bought and sold it so many times. A lot of stuff that I do find, I do look up though. If it's new to me or if it's something that I've heard somebody say, like Sundance. I wouldn't have just grabbed Sundance if I didn't hear somebody tell me about it. But I still looked it up to see the value. So just always, always do that. Some more of those camo BDUs. This pair of pants is actually new with tags. So that's pretty cool. Um, just some seven women's jeans right there they they sell pretty well for me um these are some more j crew matchstick pants size 30 so a good size in women's and they're pink um some levi's 559 yeah 559 jeans and then these are those kids under armor joggers right here yay me anyway guys back to to this you guys know i love my polo ralph lauren just a basic button down now i grabbed two of these shirts i've sold the long sleeve t-shirts before in this brand this is the logo if the camera will focus on it it is like a hunting dog right with the collar and this is the brand southern point co southern point company these sell really really well anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars and i got two of them so super good super good brand just to look out for not a not a bolo but just you know if you see it look for it or, or not look for it but if you see it look it up another polar off lauren this is that other southern point co button down button up a nice polo ralph lauren long sleeve like a little bit heavier of a oh, not quite a sweater but like you know a little heavier than a, just a regular t-shirt there's another chick-fil-a shirt this is a women's woolrich button down denim with the embroidery um like gardening gardening tools so that's pretty cool i pick up boy scout stuff it sells really well even with all the patches and numbers and 
everything. It sells good. This one actually has some patches in it that will be included in, in the sale. Vineyard Vines is a great brand. This is a kid's Vineyard Vines, a girl size 12. Um, Tuck Donuts tea. That's the front. This is new. It's still got the sticker on it, but it's OBX, so the Outer Banks Duck Donuts. Pretty cool. Brand new. Just, you know, no tag. Um, this is just a cool, cool little $10 shirt. It's brand new with tags. New York Factory. I don't really know anything about it, but it's a security shirt. It's a 3XL double sided. I had somebody ask me recently, like, kind of how my, my photo process works. So I'm going to show you, like, kind of what I do um, when I take my photos. So this is the rack that I pulled from. This is what I've done so far. This is the last photo of the set, but I've got one there. This is just a mountain tee, the raccoon face. Um, I literally put this here. I take my photos, one of like the whole photo. Then I get a close up right here. Then I take photo, the collar, both sleeves. And if it has writing on it, then I'll take a picture of the sleeve, like, you know, kind of like that but nicer then I take a picture of like the size and tag all that stuff if there's any date which this one's a 2013 then you know I do my just my chest measurements the length measurement then I flip it over take a picture of the back if there's anything on the back then I the last picture of the set is a number and I just hold it on my finger and that's the last one and that's just it's just a backup for the numbered skew that i put into the listing um that's just a backup for me because i have lost stuff before so then put the sticker then i put the sticker on one of these bags if it's got any flaws i write down the flaw just so i can remember when i'm listing uh and then it goes to the back of the box that's basically it in a nutshell. So if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. As always, guys, love you, each and every single one of you. Let's chat it up in the comments, throw some suggestions. Just say hi, what's up? I mean, it doesn't matter. I respond to everybody. Uh, let's let's communicate and uh, chat it up. It's going to do it for today, guys. Wear your seatbelts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.